Do I say fish or fishes? Have you ever had this conundrum? Well, I know I have. So simply put, use fishes with the ES when you're referring to more than one species. And use fish without the ES when you're referring to one species or a bunch of fish collectively. Now I'm going to provide you with a few examples. If I say there are four fishes within this lake, then that also translates as there are four different species of fishes within this lake. And if I say there are four fish within this lake, then that would translate as there are four individual specimens within this lake, which could mean three fish of one species and one fish of another species, or they're all the same species, or two and two. Either way, there aren't that many fish in that lake. For you fisher persons, let's say you're out on a weekend fishing Lake Michigan, which is one of the great lakes between Canada and the US, and you've had a great day of fishing. Already you have caught one walleye, two yellow perch, and three smallmouth bass. So that is six fish total. Notice that I used fish as a collective summing term. I could also say that you caught three fishes as a walleye is one species, the yellow perch is another species, and of course the smallmouth bass is another species as well. Like with most languages, especially when they're spoken in a casual conversation, context is key to understanding what a specific sentence means. And so individuals such as marine biologists and ichthyologists like to use fish and fishes so as to eliminate some of that blurriness and not have to rely so much on context. And so when I look at a group of these African cichlids, I can say that I see many fishes. I also can say, I see many fish. And now, so the distinction, I see many fishes. Well, I see many species. Because that's a species, that's a species, that's a species, and that's a species. Assuming there's no sexual dimorphism, that's confusing me. I also see many fish in that I'm seeing many in number. There are well over 30 fish in that tank. Okay, let's see if you've got it down. I'm going to show you another tank. I want you to determine the number of fishes and the number of fish. Let's freeze frame now. Okay, we'll take a little bit of time to think about it. Okay, hurry up, pause the video if you need more time. Okay, let's see how many fish there are first. I see one, two, three, and four. I tried to trick you with that clownfish in the anemone, but I also tricked myself, because if we zoom in, we'll also see that there's a smaller clownfish with that other clownfish. So that makes the total five fish. Notice there are three different species, or three fishes, as there are two species of clownfishes, and one Achilles tang. Let us also remember that fish and fishes can be used in a verb form, such as I would love to watch a penguin fish while underwater, and she fishes with the most expensive of lures. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe. My videos are always going to be concise and quality, and you'll usually learn something. Have a good rest of the day. Mmm, rico. <laughs>